but luckily not too many conflicts here in our area. Right. Uh, bears, alligators, we've been doing the stories in the news, but uh, these are a little bit better story. This one of uh, all the photos sent in of our Sandhill Cranes. They see them around golf courses all the time. I showed Norms at the 5 o'clock show. Brian decided to send some in. That's a family right there. They usually have two offspring. You see mom and dad right there kind of going through the lawn. And then here's one from Calusa Lakes, another family right there near Venice. Ray sending those in. Appreciate the photos. Keep them coming. Picks at MySunCoast.com. Casey Key webcam. Nice day for the beach. And you know what? It's going to stay that way too over the weekend. We're going to have some great beach weather. The only problem may be a little red tide. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, we had some storms approaching right around 2, 3 o'clock this afternoon, but those faded away pretty much when they hit the coast. Uh, here's that red tide report just came out from FWC at 3 o'clock this afternoon. The areas in orange are the ones of concern, but also even yellows are a little bit uh, causing some irritation. Inglewood had a little higher activity just two, two days ago, uh, but the areas are near Lido and near New Pass, also down south near Venice, stretching down toward Again, a little bit further off north of Inglewood, and you're getting medium concentrations. That's 100,000 to a million cells per liter, which can cause fish kills. And there had been some reported fish kills earlier near Inglewood, some irritation near the Venice Jetty, as well as on Siesta Key. There's been some reports of some irritation there uh, near New Pass. So we'll keep an eye on that. Manatee County, uh, not as many, but a few right there at the north end of Anna Maria Island. Uh, so here's the look at the radar picture. Most of the rain heavy again on the east coast, pushing in that direction. We had a few showers approach but those faded away as they got close to us, indicating a very stable air here uh, right on the west coast of Florida. And you can see these little outflow boundaries really enhancing these storms over central Florida where there's been a tremendous amount of lightning from Titusville all the way down to just southwest of Palm Bay. Look at this, 602 strikes just in the last 10 minutes and positive strikes which have more amperage, 280. Uh, luckily, we don't have any of that going on here right now. So if you have an evening plan for a walk on the beach or even a little tennis or possibly just going to a movie, it should be okay. Future cast showing this area of low pressure kind of hanging out here. This is the same one that brought us the late night showers last night. I think it's far enough away tonight uh, and not as strong that we're not going to see that. But tomorrow, a little sea breeze will develop and along that sea breeze will be a few showers. Notice a little bit more to the north and uh, we'll get a few here. The rain chance very small. And then again on Sunday, looks to see a similar condition start to develop with a weak sea breeze and a few showers developing along it. They shouldn't be as, as intense as we saw over the past couple of days there into central Florida. Well, for us, the water vapor imagery continues to show this trough of low pressure. Uh, this low pressure area is uh, not too worrisome as far as it developing to the surface right now, becoming a significant storm. High pressure is building in from the uh, south and eventually this high will get parked off the Carolina coast and bring us our typical afternoon and evening storms. Look at this category three hurricane out in the Pacific right there. Aletta continues to head off toward the uh, northwest there, but for us, we'll keep an eye on this area down south. Just a similar area well, uh, where Alberto formed in the GFS. The American model continues to show something spinning up and heading off toward, you guessed it, Louisiana. A long way off, so we'll have to keep an eye on it. It can move and actually intensify and maybe even fade away over the upcoming week. We'll watch it closely. We'll have a better idea on Monday if indeed the European starts to pick up on that. Uh, temperatures uh, 85 right now in Sarasota. 72, though. It's cooled in Orlando uh, due to the heavy rainfall there. The Gulf water temperature now at 83 degrees and temperatures near the coast are a little bit cooler than that. Currently, it's 85 degrees and north winds are at 8 miles an hour. Well, for boaters tomorrow, it looks good. Seas running 1 to 2 feet, basically less than 2 feet with a light chop out there. And the extended forecast shapes up like this. 20% only on Saturday. Nice beach weather on Sunday. Temperatures into the upper 80s all the way through the next 7 days. Rain chance at 40% for a few scattered showers and storms on Monday and Tuesday. And then again on Thursday and Friday. We'll uh, again keep an eye on that possibility of a tropical system developing to our south. Adam?